Dobro večer, dragi prijatelji. Jako mi je drago da nakon blagdana, evo opet smo skupa, prvo bih vas želio sve pozdraviti i zaželiti vam stvarno ugodne blagdane i kao što znamo danas je svima onima koji slave Božić blagdan, dakle svim našim prijateljima pravoslavne vjere, tako da njih posebno pozdravljam, njima posebno čestitam današnji blagdan. A naravno svima vama ostalima isto tako čestitam sve vaše blagdane koji su prošli i želim da vam ova 2015. godina bude najbolja godina ikada. Dakle, neću previše dužiti, za one koji me ne poznaju, moje ime je Mladen Vojković, iz Hrvatske sam iz Zadra, u ovome projektu sam četiri godine, inače sam karijera četiri i danas zapravo imamo jednu puno interesantniju priču čovjeka koji će voditi ovaj webinar, to je osoba za koju mogu reći da smo u ovom kratkom vremenskom periodu od nekoliko mjeseci koliko se poznamo postali ne samo poslovni partneri nego i prijatelji, to je osoba koja stvarno ima iskustva u life coachingu, koja je na jako puno područja jako uspješan, kao što znate, to je najuspješniji čovjek u Španjolskoj, karijera 5 i on će nam danas pričati o tome kako mi možemo planirati naš uspjeh. Ono što je isto interesantno, upišite da dva datuma, 24. 25. 2015. kada s njim imamo dva posebna seminara u Zagrebu, ali o tome će vam on reći, pa evo ne bi previše dužio, nego bi zapravo predao riječ Jose. So Jose, the stage is yours. Okay, thank you very much. Let me share the screen and please let me know if everything is going okay. Okay, let me start. So, welcome and good night everybody. This is Jose Manuel Torres from Spain um, on the webinar Accelerate Your Success in 2015. Let me give you a small introduction of uh, what we're going to cover today in the webinar. So, it is sometimes important to um, explain people who are here connected today, today on how we met. And we met at the Business Excellence in the 3, 4, and 5th of October of 2014. I had the opportunity to bring all my knowledge to a stage, and basically I delivered two lectures, which I would like to summary really quick tonight. And the first lecture, um, if you remember, I talked about the fact that awareness is really important. The fact that you are connected here in this webinar tonight It means that you're curious. It means that you have attitude. It means that you're looking for something. It means that you want more out of your life. And so this formula of ACR, basically meaning awareness leads to choices, and the right choices leads to the right results, is one of the things, one of my messages at the business section in last um, time in October. So congratulations for being here. Awareness is one of the things that have accelerated my success here in Spain. And when you start uh, listening to webinars, uh, being surrounded by mentors with people who already are where you want to be, is where you can have the right choices. And at the end, um, we are the ones that create destiny. And our destiny is basically based on the results, based on the choices we have made. So that was my first part of the lecture back in October in the Business Excellent. And then in the second lecture, I told you about four messages. I told you about the fact that we need to be teachable. We need to love the process. We need to find motivational factors, and we need to seek support. And as, as you remember, um, sometimes it's um, difficult for people to be teachable. In fact, The more that you know, the more that you grow, the more successful you become, the, the more you understand that, that you don't know anything. Sometimes uh, when I go to see great speakers in Las Vegas, for example, this year, or when I uh, have meetings with people who are my mentors, is when I realize that I need to learn even more. Now, being teachable is important. Loving the process, no matter what you do in life, you need to love what you're doing. We actually... 2015, I believe, is going to be a great year for all of us, and this is not such a, like, a motivation, I want to pump you up. 2015 is going to be great, 
because we have experience, because we are already getting closer to personal development, and because we are loving what we're doing. Now, it is important, of course, to find a bigger why, to have motivational factor, and the most important thing, please seek support. Seek support, connecting to webinars, attending seminars, reading books, reading audiobooks, seeking support. After the business excellence, we had the opportunity to um, to do something, an event in Sagre called Plan Your Success, and this was in December 6th. I took um, some of my coaches, I took Belen, which is one of my former coaches here in Spain, and we had a, a one-day training session that was unbelievable. People were really happy with all the information that we covered during Plan Your Success 2014. And for, for all of you who were not be able to be there, I'll give you a little bit of, um, of a, a, rest, a summary of what we covered on last December 6th. We basically covered everything I learned working with more, with more than 200 CEOs in the last six years. Basically, I told them, the people at Plan Your Success, I told them what are the key factors that make those 200 people to be successful. We actually talk about the seven areas of life. We talk about the secret of success, how to spend more hours close to or near the result. We talk about the ideal week, the formula 543, and how to be successful designing your ideal week. And at the end of the of the of this um, of this seminar, we we um we got so so many great feedback that we decided to a longer seminar of a day and a half, which we're gonna do in 2015. So the question is, what's next? So in two, on, on January 24th and 25th, actually uh, very, very soon, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be flying to Zagreb with my team. I'm going to bring my coaches and I'm going to bring my method. The, the, the plan of success agenda that is going to allow you not, not only to dream on the objectives that you want to achieve, but to basically be very close to the objective not only a year, but monthly, weekly, and daily. Because at the end, if you think about it, success is just a combination of a small, a small uh, actions that you do in a consistent basis every single day. So, why are we here today? We are here today because of the following message. I read this a couple weeks ago. My goal for 2015 is to achieve my objectives of 2014 that I should have accomplished in 2013. Come on! Are you serious? Well, people, let me tell you, this is exactly how people operate. This is how people operate in Spain, in Croatia, and in many other countries. Um, a lot, every single person wants to succeed, but the problem is nobody wants to pay the price. Sometimes when people ask me, Jose, how you became so, so successful, I tell people, well, I work a lot during the weekends. I work a lot after in the evening, after 7 p.m. I was doing my normal job, and I was working really hard on my project. So everybody wants to be successful, but not everybody wants to pay the price. So here, the good news is I have built in the last six years some methods that even though you have to pay the price of building a, a business, uh, my method will allow you to basically do it a little bit easier. But before we do that, let's talk about some facts, especially some facts about every single January I have seen in the last six years. I am telling you, the January of 2008, this happens. January of 2009, this happens. So what's happening? Well, it happens that every single January, you have New Year's resolutions. New Year's resolutions, the word resolution means that it needs to be resolved. You need to work on this. And if I ask you today, what are the most 10 common New Year resolutions? So here are some of them. The number one in the world 
is I want to lose weight. Number two is one of my favorites. Please, I want to get organized. Number three, I want to spend less and save more. This sounds, it sounds easy and it sounds fantastic. The question is, why never happens? Why we are not able to spend less, save more, get organized, lose weight, enjoy life a little bit more, staying fit and healthy, learning something new, of course, quit smoking, help others in their dream. Number nine is funny, fall in love, and then spend more time with family. Listen, pay, pay attention because this is what I learned in the last six years. Number one, how much would you bet for yourself? How much would you bet that in February you're still losing weight, you're still getting organized, you're still spending less and saving more? How much would you bet for yourself? So here are the facts. Only 45% of the people who I have coached in the past and only 45% of the people in the world make New Year's a solution. So this tells you that 55% already give up. These are people who they are 30, 40, 50 year olds, but they were dead in 25. When they were 25 year old, they were already dead. Listen. 55% of the people already quit on New Year's resolution. But the good news is that 45% of people still made New Year's resolution this week. Now, out of those 45%, only 95% of the people, well, 95% of the people actually break this New Year's resolution by January 15th. And this is very important because we are here January 7th. So meaning, in the next seven days, you probably don't need my help. But in the, after those seven days, you're going to need some help because most likely you're going to be part of the 95% of the people who break New Year's resolution. And you're going to say, well, Jose, come on. I'm not going to be one of those. So here's the question. In 2015, should we do New Year's resolutions or should we analyze and improve 2014? Pay attention to this. Progress equals happiness. This is from Tony Robbins, and he is so right. People want to be happy, and the only thing that makes people happy is progress. Because change, people, change is automatic. Change is going to happen. If you don't do the right things, change is going to happen for the good or for the bad. Now, progress means happiness. So, if you really want to be to take 2015 as the real year of success, forget about New Year's resolutions. What you need to do is you need to analyze how 2014 was and you need to improve it. Of course, this will take some time and this is the part that I'm going to help you with. I'm going to help you analyze 2014, analyze what are your skills, analyze what are the things that can be improved so you can have an amazing 2015 and you can become at that part of the 5% who by analyzing and improving 2014 will commit and will achieve the New Year's resolutions. Now, the three concepts for tonight, if you know me, you have seen, been in my seminars in, in Croatia or you have seen my videos, you know that I always want very sharp messages, um, basically simple but strong. And today, I'm, I want you to walk out of this webinar with three main concepts. Concept number one, let's talk about raising your standards in 2015. Let's talk about knowing what your rituals are, basically your habits. And lastly, let's talk about managing your time in 2015. Okay? So let's begin. Raising your standard in 2015. Now, what do I mean with standard? Everybody has standards. For example, taking control of your life, planning, measuring, winning the game. I tell you, I have, I'm, I have so much power in January because I'm going to win the, the, the game in January. I'm going to win the game in February, and I'm going to do the same in March. So in, one thing that you have to do is you have to think, what are your standards? in your core values, what are your standards in your health, what are your standards in your working hours, what are your standards in your interruptions. 
Number two, we need to turn our should into must. So this goes back to I should lose weight, I should do more appointments, I should save money, I should go to bed early. Stop, stop your should and turn this into must. Now, in order for you to do this, to raise your standards, you have to rebuild yourself. And changing mean changing your life means changing your inner game. What is your inner game? Let me give you a couple of examples. So, for example, you know that in life we have seven areas. And the first area, I call it the GPS, which is the Global Positional System. This means your core values. This meaning why are you here in this world? This means what you want to do with your, with your life. What you want to do with the next 30, 40, 20, 10 years. What do you want to do? So for a lot of people, 95% of the people, remember that 55, they didn't do New Year's resolution. So their standard is a no plan is a good plan. Now, 45% of the people who do resolutions, but they don't accomplish these resolutions, what are their standards? Well, I write the New Year's resolutions in January, but I don't follow them. Now, there is a 5% of the population that charge their plan, charge their lifestyle, and build an ideal week. What I'm telling you here is, I want you guys to raise your standard. I, I, I wish you could see me right now. I'm far up. I really want to take control of your life and say, hey, listen, I'm going to chart, I'm going to draw, I'm going to put in a piece of paper what my plan for next week is going to be. I'm going to put in a piece of paper my lifestyle. For example, guys, think about this. Maybe a great lifestyle is no working on Fridays. I don't know if your job allows you to do that, but that would be an amazing goal to achieve, no working on Fridays. Or for example, waking up at 10 in the morning one day per week, or spending hours doing my hobby. Basically, until you don't take the time to chart your lifestyle, it's not going to happen. So you have to build your ideal week, you need to draw your lifestyle, and you need to chart your plan. And these guys, these are standards. 5% of the population, their standard is to have their ideal week. Their standard is to design in a piece of paper their lifestyle. And the standard is to have a plan. You need to have a plan for January, you need to have a plan for the next three months, and you need to have a plan from today until the summer if you have the right standards in the first area of life, which is the GPS. Health. This has become one of my favorite areas. Listen, in fact, um, this webinar, it was going to be on January 2nd, a couple of days ago, but um, I start feeling no so very well on my neck. I got a really severe pain. And you know what? I don't, in fact, I'm not too stressed. But maybe I was putting my body to a limit. I was doing too much um, exercise because I'm preparing for a new triathlon. But the point of the story is that I lost my health last week. And that's why we need to cancel the webinar. And this makes me so angry that, in fact, one of my face, first priority of 2015 is going to be my personal health. Um, I am very I'm very proud to be the founder and owner of Plan Your Success. I am very proud of the success I have with the company Lioness. But if this success is going to take my health away, of course I don't want success. Success when you have the right balance. So even though it is important to have control of your GPS, the area that I'm going to spend more time, no, no time, and they're going to give more priority in 2015 is my health. And here I'm going to give you three standards that you need to start working on. Eating right, cleaning your four filters, I will explain. Uh, number two, you should watch Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. That's a documentary. And number three, exercise, a sport. So let, let's spend some time talking about raising your standard in a health point of view.
So at the end of the day, please take some notes. At the end of the day, I come to the conclusion that we are what we eat and we are what we listen to. If you listen to positive people, if you listen to champions, if you listen to great leaders, then your surroundings are going to be perfect for you to succeed. If you listen to negative people, your surroundings are not going to be ideal and you are not going to make it. So every time you are eating or every time you are listening, think about me. Think, we are what we eat and we are what we listen to. So here in Spain, we have a, a doctor called Alberto Marti Bosch. Um, I'm going to try to find this information in English. But the, the point of it's a, it's a conference, uh, one hour long, and he talks about the importance of eating right because we need to clean four filters. So bear here with me because this is a lot of information, but it is very simple. In the human body, which is a perfect machine, we have four filters. We have the kidneys, we have the liver, we have the lungs, and we have the skin. And when we are young and we eat right, basically these filters are clean and we don't have any problems. But when we start working a lot, like we are developing several businesses, we're working really hard, we start eating the wrong food. And so the filters block. And when the filters block is, for example, when you eat protein and your body cannot get rid of this protein, then it creates uh, it create, uh, acid. And then when we eat uh, fat and the body is not able to get rid of this fat, we create cholesterol. So one of the things of good habit that I'm doing in 2015 is I am drinking at night some vegetable juice. And you might be thinking, oh my god, what kind of webinar is this? Uh, I thought Jose was going to talk about planning your success and he is talking about drinking vegetable juice. Well, listen, I'm talking about habits of successful people and successful people, they eat right. So uh, just if, if you have the time, I will encourage you to watch Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead. It's a documentary for free in YouTube that this guy, um, John, he basically tells, shares with people how he was fat, sick, and nearly dead, and now he's in great shape. So everything comes back to standards. Eating right, for example, eating a healthy breakfast, eating a good lunch, and drinking juice at night, these are high standards. Cleaning your full filters, quit smoking so your lungs are okay, drink two liters of water so your kidneys are okay, and stop alcohol so your liver is okay, and put some lotion on your skin so your skin is okay. Those are a standards, high standard for healthy people. Doing exercise, go walking an hour every day. Listen, if you don't have time to exercise, you don't have my respect. Because at the end of the day, who has time? Nobody has time. So we need to, we need, if you don't, think about one thing. The body is the place where you live. So if you don't care about your body, who will care about your body? So sorry if I'm taking a little bit longer on, on raising your standard from a health point of view, but this is a very critical aspect. I want you in 2015, I want you to look in the mirror and you say, wow, some, someone, somebody that you want to date, somebody that you want to go out with, this is the person that you have to be. So going back, GPS. Successful people, they plan their lifestyle and they have their ideal week. And successful people, they eat right, they exercise, and they clean their full filters. Lungs, skins, kidney, and liver. Okay? So work. Work, guys, is where we spend much more time. So eliminate distraction. That's another standard. You have to get, you have to get very serious about this. I am eliminating my distractions. I have an office here in Spain, and, and in, in January, I'm going to start going to my office after 10 in the morning, because from 8 to 10, I'm going to be focusing on the highly important goals. 
So you need to start making a list of what's important and making a list of what's urgent. And you're going to see how everything that is urgent, it only values five years per hour, and everything that is important, 500 years per hour. So here in the work, I'm not going to talk too much because hopefully I'm going to see you guys in the 24th and 25th in Zagreb, and I'm going to be able to give you some techniques of how to eliminate distractions. But 2015, we need to get serious. You need to raise your standards. You have to learn how to say no. And remember, if you were in the seminar in December 6, I was telling you, it's not about saying no. It's about saying yes, but no now. Hey, Jose, can you do this? Yes, but no now. Can you do me this favor? Yes, but no now. Because you need to concentrate, eliminate distraction, and focus on what is important. So once again, everything that I'm talking about in this first part of the webinar is about raising your standard, raising the bar. Listen, at the end, if you hang out with people with high standard, what's going to happen to you? You're going to improve. If you start running with people who run fast, you're going to run fast. If you start hanging out with people who drink uh, a lot of alcohol, it's nothing wrong against alcohol, but what's going to happen to you? You're going to end up drinking a lot of alcohol. So tell me who are the five people who you spend more time with, and I'm going to tell you how your life is going to be. It is as simple as that. So raise your standard as the GPS, raise your standard in the health point of view, raise your standard at work. Now, finance. This is also a top priority for me in 2015. Three simple things, and if you think about it, I am making this very simple because I want you to succeed. It's not about implementing 20,000 habits and raising your standard from 1 to 10. It is about raising your standard just a little bit. So in the finance aspects of your life, it is time for you to read, it is time for you to save, and it is time for you to earn money. So let me, let me give you some, some good standards for you to raise. Number one. I just bought the Tony Robbins Money Master the Money Game. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is an amazing book. I strongly recommend you trying to get this audiobook or this book from Tony Robbins. He hasn't wrote, uh, written a book in the last, I don't know, 10, 20 years, something like that, and he has decided to write this, which is an amazing book. All that you need to do is go to iTunes and purchase the book. I think it's about $16, it's so worth it. Or you can get it in the Tony Robbins website and they send it from the US to your house. Now, reading. Second, save. Here in this webinar, you can also see in my Facebook, this is basically a, a very small challenge that I'm going to start, actually I started this week. And it means saving 15 euros in the first week. 30 euros on the second week, 35 euros on the third week, and it goes on, 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 and on. By the end of the week 52, we are going to have 14,000 euros. And you might be thinking, come on, Jose, this is impossible. Well, I'll tell you why. Why don't we start this uh, challenge today? Because I know you have 15 euros, 15, one, one five. Let's start this challenge. And it doesn't really matter if we achieve 14,000 euro at the end of the year or not. What do you think is important? What is really important is to get the habit, to get the habit of saving money every single week. Okay? So this is, of course, a suggestion. This is a challenge. I am starting with some of the people here in Spain. And a lot of people were telling me comments like, ah, oh, this is too much. And the last part, you need to save. $2,000 in the month, listen, you can find all the negative things you want in this exercise. I am going to do it, I'm going to save every single week, and I'm going to try to hit 14000 and if I don't make it, that's really matter. I'm going to have some money at the end of the year. So I'm going to read the Tony uh, Robbins book, I'm going to save some money, and the point number three, earn more. How can we earn more money? With appointments, it's easy. Just 
get your business, get your, your plan B, or get your Light Connect business, or get whatever you are doing, and start doing appointments, and start earning some money. Don't tell me this is hard. It's no, I don't want excuses. I want you to read, I want you to save, and I want you to earn money, and I want you to raise your standards. This is what we have to do in January CC. We have to do it in February and we have to do it in March. Now I hope you are enjoying this webinar. Sorry if I'm a little bit here like strong and fired up, but listen guys, I have energy, I'm ready to rock and roll. And if you know me on stage. You know, I'm a straight, I'm not here to waste my time. I'm here to tell you things as they are. So GPS, health, work, finance, and then fin fin finally, family, education, and social. Listen, family, people get organized. One of the things I'm telling people here in Spain is get organized with your family and improve the communication of your goals. Listen. What I'm telling you here to do in this webinar is exactly what you have to do with your family. Sometimes your family gets upset because you haven't communicated your goals. Listen, I'm building my ideal week. Help me. This is what I'm doing in February. This is what I'm doing in March. If you improve the communication with your family, things are going to be much better. You have to trust me on this one, right? Education. Get organized. One podcast per month. One audio book per month. 10 pages of a book every single day. You can do this. And lastly, social. Same thing. Get organized. One new person, one new people every single day. No excuses. Okay? So what's going to happen if we do all of this? We are going to raise the standards. And that is what I want for you next week. I want you to raise your standards tonight. And I want you to hold to these standards the second week of January, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. Now, key concept number two. 2015, rituals make reality. Okay, listen. Successful people, the only thing that they do is they do small things on a daily basis. They identify what the rituals are. They set little actions and they improve their life basically with those little actions. So it's not about talent, it's about your standards. And here, let me share with you a story uh, from Tony Robbins. I was reading his book during vacation in Christmas and he said that he had the opportunity to be with Michael Jordan when Michael Jordan was playing for the Chicago Bulls at the peak of his career. And Tony Robbins say, hey, Michael, what, what is it? What do you have that you basically crush everybody in the basketball court? What, what, is, what is it? Why you are the best in the world? And Michael Jordan said, you know what, Tony? It's all about my standards. I train more than everybody else. I rest more than everybody else. I practice more than everybody else. I take care of myself more than everybody else. I do more than everybody else. So his standards were so high that that's why he was successful. So guys, one of the emphasis of today's webinar is I think by now you're understanding what I mean with standard. A standard is your opinion about how things should be done. And listen, you hang out with a bad group, you're going to have low standards. You're going you're gonna to hang out with a great group and you're going to have high standards. And this is how it goes. And this is another phrase from uh, Tony Robbins' book, which, which I really, really like, which is, people are rewarded in public for what they have been doing in private. And this is exactly what we need to be doing. You need to start planning your life, your life week on private. You need to start eating right. You need to listen to the right um, leaders. You need to be connected to the to webinars like this. You need to do in private the right thing, and I'm guarantee you, you're gonna give give or get re reward in public. Okay. So concept number two: identify your rituals. I guarantee you, if I'm with you for one day, I can exactly tell you how your finances are, how your life, 
how your uh, health are. I can tell everything about you just hanging out with you for one day. Why? Because I'm good looking at rituals. You change rituals, you change your reality. Number, concept number three is time management. And this is, this is probably, this is my passion. Because this is the only thing that it gets together the rich and the poor. It's time and health. I guarantee you that you can have a lot of money, but if you're not healthy, it's done. And I guarantee you that a lot of rich people would be so happy by to purchase time, and they cannot purchase time. So I like to see time management as daily course corrections. So what do I mean with time management? 2015, it needs to be the year where you, number one, your stand number one is to reflect. You have to take time to think how things are going. You have to take time to measure. So one of my, my standards every morning is to basically get my agenda and see how my day is going to be. That's just a standard. And a standard becomes a habit. Second thing is appreciation. Listen, a lot of us has a lot of fears, especially you know, coming into 2015, when there's a lot of uh, things uh, unknown, a lot of things we don't know. We don't know how the year is going to be. And being afraid is what actually stops people. So one little secret is when you start being appreciative, when you start to appreciate everything in life, then fear goes away. And when fear goes away, you can think and you can get the right ideas. So one thing that I'm doing as a, as a habit of success every morning, I'm doing a five-minute speech about appreciation. Appreciation about the fact that my eyes are okay. Appreciation about the fact that my ears are okay. Appreciation about the fact that I have a house, that I, that I have a, a job, that I have a, a team of people I like. Appreciation. And when you do appreciation, then fear goes away. Now, number three. It is time for you to take some risk. You need to play the game. You need to become an elite performer. Exactly. You need to be the Michael Jordan of whatever you do. And you need to develop a do it now mentality. Come on, do it now. So once again, what are standards or proper standards for people who do time management right? They reflect every day. They take five, ten minutes to think about the day. They appreciate everything they have. They take some risk, but they become elite performance by having a doing now mentality. Now, number four, you have to become a world class in all areas of life. This is what I was telling you before. You need to become a world class in everything you do. And how, you, how do you do that? You do that by protecting your time. You need to get down in a day that others takes a week. You know, having, have you seen sometimes when you turn your off, your phone off, and you are not in the office, how you get a lot of things done, and you say, wow, in this hour, I did more than I have done in the entire day. This is the person I want you to become. I want you to become somebody that gets day in a day what other people take a week. And finally, success is created by constant practice of basic fundamentals. This is what I'm telling you every single speech that I give in Zagreb, every single time that I'm with you in the seminars. Success is just a matter of constant practice of basic fundamentals. What are the fundamentals? Reflect, appreciate, take some risks, have a, a mentality of doing now and become world class. So listen, concept number one, raise your standards. Become very, very um, ambitious with yourself. Concept number two, know your rituals. Know exactly what are the rituals that are going to take you to success and what are the rituals that are going to crash you. Number three, time management. Reflect, appreciate, do it now. Do it now mentality. Okay, I hope you are having finding a lot of value in this webinar. And here is the good news. The good news is that with all my knowledge and all my love from Spain to Croatia, I'm going to be there January 24th and January 25th. I'm going to be there with my method and I'm going to be there with my team. 
Now, if you are asking yourself, why should I be there? Jose, give me some reasons why should I be there on the 24th. I want to give you 16 reasons why you need to be there. And you are right, one six. I'm going to give you 16 reasons why you should be there with us January 24th, January 25th. January 24th, you will, you will have a compelling vision about your plan and your lifetime 2015. What I'm meaning is you're going to have in a beautiful agenda, a beautiful manual, you're going to have the opportunity to see how I charge my lifestyle, how I charge my plan for 2015, how I charge the life that I want to live. You will have a list of strong reasons why to achieve those goals. I'm going to teach you how to build 20 reasons why to achieve your success. You will also have access to a method and an agenda so you can review it and fill it every single day. This is not a, a two-day seminar in which we're going to walk away. This is a two-day seminar in which we're going to give you the tools so you can review your success every single day. You will receive the techniques about how to stay focused and how to stay self-motivated. This is very important because, of course, sometimes we get low energy and I'm going to teach you how to get self-motivated. Like I said before, you're going to charge your plan and your lifestyle of 2015. Very, very important. I'm going to teach you how to work with 14-day goals. Remember like the 90 day plan for Eric Worre? I love it because 90, game, 90 days is, is, is power. But now I'm working with people on a 14-day goal plan of action. So you can increase awareness. I prepare you to become a world class progress master. So we're going to have the same so January, February, March, goal for every single month, and I'm going to teach you how to create 14 day goals momentum. Also, you're going to write down your top five priorities of your top five goals, and we're going to draw them, we're going to chart them. You will also create a weekly schedule. We're not going to get out of the room until you have your um, ideal week completely planned. We, you will also identify successful rituals, simple fundamentals, like I told you before, eating right, listening to the right um, leaders, to the right, reading the right books, getting the right agenda, um, basically getting some fundamentals that will transform you. You will also write a story about the previous week. I'm going to tell you the powerful that is writing every single Sunday, writing the story about the previous week. And what it does, when you write the story about the previous week, you're going to start identifying patterns. You're going to uh, see that this ability will be a learning tool. So I'm going to tell you how the story week every single week and how this can become a very powerful tool. You are going to work on power. I, I used to work, Robin said, on the hour power. I'm working now, I'm, I'm trying a technique called the 40 minutes of power, becoming a world-class focused person. We, we go for 40 minutes, we concentrate only on one task, and we get it done. Like the do it now mentality. Uh, we are going to identify intuitive routines. For example, Everybody goes to work at night. People go to buy groceries Saturday in the morning. I'm going to teach you some of the things that you can do in a different time frames, and you can save a lot, a lot of time. Basically, uh, acting like the or orthodox, doing things as the successful people do. Um, of course, I'm going to give you exact techniques of how to get organized, how you get your life in order, how you get your house in order, how you get your commitments, commitments in order. You're going to learn how to work off block of times, how to get all the budget, budgeting together, how to get all the phone calls together, how to get all the things that you don't like to do together, how to work on blocks, and last but not least, I'm going to 
help you and teach you how to set boundaries. Boundaries meaning yes, but not now. I'm going to teach you how to plan your week so you are allowed to say no to people and to start planning your success. Those are the things that we're going to be covering on the 24th and the 25th of January. I'm really, really excited because the time is approaching very, very soon. How to sign up? Um, you can sign up by emailing jose at josemanueltorres.com or you can also sign up by going into planyoursuccess.com, planificatoexito.com and then you're going to see an event just for Zagreb which is called Accelerate Your Success. You can also get in contact with uh, Ladem and Marinko because you have their information and they can tell you how to be part of this two-day seminar. The seminar is going to start on, um, on Saturday the 24th and it's going to go in the morning of Sunday 25th and I believe Sunday in the afternoon we're going to have a business progress. So it's going to be the perfect opportunity for you to get the Plan Your Success method, to get immersed on a day and a half full of information, not only information but techniques and then after that we're going to be in the business progress together. The price is 250 euros and that includes all the rules, includes the coffee breaks and includes all the material and all my coaches I'm going to be bringing from Spain to Zagreb. Of course, everything is going to be translated into your language. Last concepts. Remember, it is important to build awareness because awareness is what allows you to, to get good choices and good choices will give you good results. And I want you to ask yourself these two questions. Number one, what would you do if you, you knew you cannot fail? It's a wonderful question. Hey, Jose, what would you do if you knew you cannot fail? Second question is, what three things could you do that will take your life to the next level? These are the questions I want you to start thinking right now and I'll be more than happy to help you get those three things in action in February, March, April of 2015. So what would you do if you cannot fail and what three things could you do that will take your life to the next level? And I guarantee you, if you get those two questions answered, I help you to get those answers actually become reality. This is something that you already saw probably in my Facebook. Hey, you know, oh my God, 2014 is already over. What's going to happen with 2015? Listen, accelerate your success. The best day to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best day, and the second best day is today. People want to change the fruit, but people don't want to change the root. So listen, awareness comes first. Change the root. When can you change the root? At the 24th and 25th of Accelerate Your Success in Zagreb. I give you the techniques, I give you the material, and then you develop the main branch the following branches and you have amazing fruits and this is how you build your success. Uh, on the day one, we're going to work on techniques of how to stay focused in 2015. Techniques to fully concentrate on your results, every single part will have an exercise. Techniques to design and follow a system and we're going to raise your standards in the seven areas of life. After that, we're going to be learning everything we have done in 2014 and how to plan your 2015. I'm going to give you some exercise in which you're going to be able to draw every single part of 2014. And based on your result of 2014, you're going to be able to design and improve 2015. We're going to work on your dreams for this year, objective, what are your goals of every single month, and basically the key activities, those activities that are worth 500 euros. I, we're going identify, to identify successful habits and we're going to eliminate the bad habits. So basically, raising your standards, uh, analyzing how 2014 was, planning 2015, and I, I eliminating bad habits and implementing good rituals or successful habits. And then at the end of day one, 
will teach you how to spend more hours getting closer to your results, basically the 80-20 rule, and this is also a live exercise. What are we doing in day two? In day two, we'll design the goal for each month. I want each one of you to say, in January, I'm going to concentrate on this. In February, I'm going to do that. In March, I'm going to do this. And in April, I'm going to do that. You're going to get out of the room with the 12 goals for the 12 months of 2015. We're going to be able to design your ideal week, that template that you need to follow every single week for 52 weeks. And this is also a life exercise. And we're going to talk about the power to create massive momentums. We're going to give you a piece of paper in which you're going to draw all the main events of the year. You're going to draw your milestones. And you're going to be able to see what are the actions that you need to do prior to this event. Finally, at the end of day two, we're going to give you some other tools about the power to create your destiny because at the end your destiny is a group of decisions that you are making today. Your destiny in April are the decisions that you make in January, February, and March, and this is how it goes. Listen, January 24th, 25th is going to be a pleasure for me to teach you everything I have learned in these last six years with Plan Your Success, everything I have learned with developing my team, and I'm bringing all my coaches from Spain to Sagra, which I'm really excited about that. Uh, you will win this game. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can visit my website at www.josemanueltorres.com. You can also check the Plan Your Success, Planifica to Exit, Exito.com. And you can search me in Facebook and in my YouTube channel. This has been an amazing pleasure for me to do this webinar for you guys. Um, I feel really strong. I feel ready to go to Zagreb very soon, and I hope to see you, all of you there, over there. Probably Laden want to um, do a final message today. Otherwise, I would be done for tonight. Yes. <clears throat> Duboko zahvaljujem Jose na svemu što je rekao i na svim ovim informacijama koje, koje nam je dao. E, mislim da i oni koji su prvi put gledali ovako nešto, e, da stvarno mogu zaključiti da ono što će biti u Zagrebu ta dva dana je uistinu neophodno za razvoj naših posla u 2015. Dakle, ja bih mu se uistinu zahvalio od srca što je potrošio vrijeme da bi nam dao svo, svoje znanje. I naravno svakom od vas bi preporučio da probate naći način i model kako da 24. i 25. januara budete u Zagrebu s nama na seminaru i da zapravo dobijete informacije kako možete planirati svoj uspjeh u 2015. godini, a ne samo u 2015. godini, nego praktički u, u razdoblju koje vam slijedi. Ja se uistinu želim vam stvarno još jedno svima sve najbolje i nadam se da će ovo biti najbolja godina za svih i eto, nadam se da se vidimo u Zagrebu 24. i 25. 2015. godine. Evo, hvala vam lijepa, ugodan ostatak večeri i vidimo se uskoro.